Hey there, my name is Ian Jennings. I'm a developer evangelist for PubNub. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can make a speech to text chat room with Wit and PubNub. So to get started, we need a chat room. And we're gonna use uh, Steven's example here from 2011. It's only 10 lines of JavaScript. And we're gonna skip through it pretty quickly here. I've got it implemented in this demo on CodePen. So when I type something into this chat, it gets sent to the PubNub network, and we receive it on the other end. It's entered here into the chat output. So if we take a look at the JavaScript, uh, you'll see that what happens is when the Enter button is pressed, we PubNub publish the value of the input and we also subscribe to the same channel. And when we receive a message, all we do is add that message into this box here. So I have a couple examples here. <laughs> it's funny, it actually showed up on the demo. Um, in a more simple way, here's the publish call. And here's the subscribe call. So all we're going to do is replace this input box with the speech to text API powered by wit. Head over to wit.ai and then log in with GitHub. You're brought to the wit console. In this box, we're going to type out a sentence that we want wit to be able to recognize. In our case, it's something like send a message. Real time is awesome. Now we need to identify the intent. The intent is a group of key phrases that represents an action. So in our case, send a message is the intent. But it could also be send, message, chat, send a message to, send the message, or anything like that. We want them all to be grouped under the same intent, the same kind of key phrase or action. So our intent here is just going to simply be message. Then we're going to highlight the rest and label it as an entity. An entity is a sort of parameter. In our case, it looks like a message body. It's free text that would be the body of a message. We're going to validate this intent. And I presented with the intent screen. Since we don't want people to only say send a message, we're going to add a few more expressions. So something like send the message, real time is awesome. Message, real time is awesome. Or chat, real time is awesome. Again, we're gonna divide these into intents and entities. Now that we have our list of entities and expressions, we're gonna jump right into the wit for websites example here, and specifically their microphone example. In order to get set up, you'll first need to go into the console and find the settings tab. Add your domain into the domains box here. For me, I'm going to use s.codepen.io and codepen.io. Copy your client access token and paste it into the JavaScript. I have a copy of the microphone demo on CodePen and you can easily fork this demo. Now that everything's set up, let's try it out. Allow access to the microphone and then click the microphone icon. After you click the microphone icon, Say send a message and then your message. Send a message, real time is awesome. So Wit was able to determine that my intent was sending a message and it even decoded that the message body is real time is awesome. 
these variables come through in the JavaScript response, and I'll show you where. This is what we're looking for, on result. Send a message, real time is awesome. Okay, so here we have the intent, message, and then the entities object. So all we need to do is plug the message body into our chat example, and we have speech to text chat. That's exactly what I've done in this demo. Now, when we get a result from the microphone, we publish to the channel the value of the message body. The same subscribe code is here and will append the message into the chat output box. Here I've opened two windows to represent that the chat output is being sent over the wire. Send a message, real time is awesome. And there is our speech to text chat demo.